They'll be calling you a radical. Kevin Blanche, if you're wondering where I'm at, this is Timbuk 4, literally. That's Fremont Island. I'm getting ready to start my hike out there. In 1968, we were taught right here that the Great Salt Lake would be dry. This is how dry it is. The water was right up to here this spring. I think I might be able to hike all the way. I know where Kit Carson's cross is carved. I'm one of the very few people on earth that knows where it's at. Doesn't remind, tell me, doesn't it, you think misfits? I'm on the causeway out here. This is made out of the redwood off the causeway. As, when the causeway was built in 1904, as I was a boy growing up right here on this big huge ranch, nobody ever still comes out here. Nobody then. We used to have keg parties right here on the back side there. The Reese Break, like northern San Francisco. Our girlfriends with the flowers in our hair. We used to have the most incredible, coolest parties when we were teenagers out here. Nobody bothers us. Probably because nobody knew where the fuck we were at. These are incredible vistas. I'm on the east side of the lake, believe it or not out here. I used to have, well, I better not talk about what I used to do out here across here. But it's about the visual concept. It's about the five senses sucking up. Is art important? Art is everything. As we want to get into the Mormon Muslim thesis with the tree, which there, which the jetty there, which the sun tunnels there, with me here. The causeway was built in 1904. It was considered one of the greatest. We used to call it, my teacher used to say, the eighth wonder of the world. I'd lay in bed at night and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of passenger trains would come across here to California. This is the way they went. And I used to dream about who's on those trains. You know, as you went you went to California, this is where you come is the Golden Spike. I've got some cool footage of there I'm gonna show you. There, I'm gonna start my hike. I'm ready. Got my stuff. Oh shit, I left my bag in the car. But anyway, that's okay. Wow. Wow, what a landscape. What a vista. The atomic triangle. horses are out here. I'm going to get some footage of them. This is where the tundras pass through. The tundra swans pass through. I'm going to try to catch some footage tonight. That's why I'm hiking out. It's taking me about two hours. We waited in 1968 up to our waist. I'll get out here a little farther and you can see Bangor's pumps. They're still there. You have to drive for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles as the 8384s of the pumps. Went up. I think this is powerful, powerful. As I can't decide whether to incorporate this into my nuclear triangle as draw it like this. The tree, which the tree is so underestimated, it is one magnificent, powerful piece of iconic, brilliant, brilliant genius art by Moran, not Mormon. The sun tunnels. She, she's still alive in Manhattan, toting the island around the island. And of course, the gem of all gems. The jetty. Oh, do I got some great footage of the jetty. Here. The causeway. They tore it out. He started tearing it out in the late 90s. This is made from it. This is the decking. He's a beautiful artist, by the way, who made this for me. His mom was an incredible potter, too. Hope you got to see what this says. The decking that they built this in 1905 was old growth redwood forest. There's no bottom here. They're hauling ballast out here. They have every day for literally decades. They haul ballast out here because it just sinks. There's no bottom. It sinks and it bubbles up. 
This was a wood trussle that went across the lake. You used to be able to come out here, like I said, we spent so much time out here as kids, the lake would get perfectly flat and you could see the curvature of the earth in this grand wood, magnificent structure against that crystal blue water. The Great Salt Lake is, was really blue in those days and gets blue sometimes in the spring. It goes dull gray like my eyes went as I got chemo. But they quit using it in the later 50s. They built this ballast. When they built the ballast, they didn't perceive this, that the flow would quit flowing through. That's why this time of year, on this side, if you're ever flown on an airplane, one side's greenish blue, the other's bright red. I mean red. You'll see. The flow stop the natural flow stopped because it couldn't get through there as it did as they thought about in 1904 i mean can you imagine wood structures with locomotives going across with no bottom how they did it they almost annihilated the redwoods of northern california that's the no redwoods of the earth for that matter that's made of the redwood right off there but anyway he tore it out i used to come out here talk to him i got a bunch of poles i'm going to make some totem poles out of well i've been going to and as he was tearing it out, tearing it out, tearing it out, it took him years to tear it out. You should have seen it. What a project. I've got a bunch of wood from it. I heard that at the very end his tugboat sunk and he drowned. I don't know. Massive, massive. Some of the biggest mule deer in the world right here. Quell, chuckers, all kinds of incredible things. And of course, the famous story, John the Baptist, the Mormons jammed the Baptist, the grave robbers. They stuck him right there on that island. And they came out here a year ago, and the rumor is all they found was the thing around his ankle. You know, the ball and chain is all they found. Now, who knows if that's all true or whatnot. But these are great stories, but I know where Kit Carson's cross is out there. And Bridger. I'm going to get out there and get some footage. And I think I can walk. My buddy's got a, he says, my friend that lives out here, he says, well, I live out here. My neighbor, he says he's got an old wood boat, he says with oars and everything, right over there. He says just go between the little paths on that. He, he knows how to explain. He know, I know which rock he's talking about. He's talking about those ones. But he says he's got it staked in there. He says I might have to drag it for a while. I might have to float it for a while. But I think I could probably wait it, get all the way out there. That's how dry it's been. Lakes receded so far. But doesn't it make you, I mean, I want to get, I wish she was still alive, my Marilyn. You know, it's that scene of the misfits when she's in the truck and they're lost on the horses, you know. Wow. Wow. What a romantic, incredible, incredible landscape. And from when you get to the edge of the water, it even gets more dramatic. I'll get a whole bunch of videos, but this one's going to be one of my four in my diamond or my vagina triangle, as it is the eyes that see. That's why YouTube is so powerful. It is. It's not the same old, same old that hasn't been done. It's not just a flat surface with images and perspective across it. YouTube's changed so much. Video has killed the media star as Smithson Hale Museum. Maybe video will kill the museum. Maybe this is a museum. On the south side. The sun tunnels on the west side. Here, right here, the causeway, and me on the east side. The jetty, there. As I think it's such a powerful metaphor to the atomic. I think as more and went across there and built the tree, there's so much more to that tree than meets the eyes. And it's it's one grand. I think it's the second most important, best piece of environmental art in history, and the other one's ex parallel from it. The number one, of course, the jetty. This Smithson patted me on the head out there that day as my grandpa and my uncles built it. My dad. Boy, did that have some pride. That was 1970. I've been thinking about 1970 all year. Oh, what a cool year that was. As I went and seen Ringo, and he had the revolver with the bow tied around it. Oh yeah, and the Orioles are in the pennant race for the first time in how Oh yeah, they won it. I love their old Pioneer League Baseball right here. I watched Dave McNally, that great Oriole. I watched Jackie Robinson, excuse me, not Jackie Robinson. There's a, there's a 40 inch slip. Our Jackie Robinson, the Logden, Frank Robinson. 
right here, John Affleck. Stay tuned. It, 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 art is the senses. It is the senses. It is the senses. It's not what someone tells you it is or what you think it is. It's feeling it, soaking it up. And as religions tried to say that it cannot be as perfect as God. Of course it can't be as perfect as God. It is God. It's so powerful, the tundra swans come through right here this time of year. That's my main objective in going out there. And I know right where the fresh springs are. I know right where they're at. And I'm going to lay down there in those reefs like I used to when I was a boy. I'd lay there for hours and hours and hours and hours. Days if I had to. They would come down right in me like B-52s across the day. There's foot. Blue herons all over out there too. They're magnificent. They're the grand of the grand of the grand. As this delta is the river as I live right on has been drained off. As it pours in right here, right here. A corporate freaking teabagger dairy farmers who call themselves Christians. Who've disgraced any Mormon ancestry of theirs. There's caves right there. About 30 years ago, some people found some decoys. Is the five tribes gather right here for years and hunt ducks and geese with their nets. But they would go down in the water with reefs, get naked in the water, and put the decoy on their head and then grab the ducks by their feet. Bought the Indian relics. I have all kinds of them that I found on our real estate. They found some right over here. They were dated 20 years ago. They did the carbon dating on them. Right here, 4,000 years old. That some of the very first people in the state or in, well, that ever set foot in the state live in caves right here. A woman. She, her. And I love it how you guys say, oh, the Mormons discovered Utah, Jim Bridger, Utah. Hastings, that lion creepy as he screwed everybody. Oh no, oh no. This was Mexico right here when the Mormons got here. Father Escalani was here hundreds. Oh yeah, he was Mexican. Yeah, he writes right about this very spot. Bridger, Weaver, all of them write about this very spot. Anybody around here ever been out here? Hell no, hell no. I'll show you all these cool spots. Kevin Blanche, is it the diamond, the atomic nuclear diamond? Or it is part of the nuclear triangle. I think it's powerful. I think it's a metaphor too. I think the atomic fall out as it all right here. It ties into the Nevada test site. You know, the gay flew out right there. You know, the, the, it's stored right there. The nerve gas is right there. The, you know, the waste is right there. It all comes full circle right here on this piece of real estate. So I'm going to get over on that side and that side. And these are places that very few humans, even Native Americans over there where I'm going to get into that other corner. Oh, talk about some vistas there. No one ever, ever, ever goes out there, ever has. As you can start walking from right here where I'm standing, go that way, you're going to go well over a thousand miles. You will never run into another person. Seriously. You go clear to the Pacific Ocean. And I like to get out my globe. And if you go from right here, from my house, my backyard, you circle all the way around like that. You're going to be clear over into freaking Asia before you freaking hit civilization. The atomic nuclear diamond triangle it is the eyes it is the eyes it is the eyes what a great piece of art that is he made it for me out of that oh 